Thank you, Mr. Stocker. Um, I'm going to ask uh, County Commissioner uh, Demarcus Marshall, would, would he come up and say a few words? Commissioner? How's everybody doing? Uh, first, I'd like to thank God. I'd like to thank my family. I'd like to thank the Democratic Party and everybody for your support that you've given me uh, since I've been in office. It has been some up times and it has been some down times. Uh, but all together, I'm still here. Um, most of you all know uh, recently I had a, uh, not to say career change, I'm still at the city, but I'm within, within public works. I used to be in uh, traffic and I got off a lot earlier. Uh, but now I get off a lot later, and so I don't make things like I used to, but thank God I'm here. Uh, one of the places I manage is actually Mathis Auditorium and where you're at right now. So, like I say, I thank God for that. Um, you know, you're going to have challenges anywhere you go, um, no matter who you are, no matter how hard you work. Um, you know, there are even changes in policies at my job that made it where uh, I no longer can um, just take off an hour or two to attend uh, political uh, functions or what have you, uh, I have to take off in eight-hour increments, which uh, I don't do because they eat up all of my vacation time. And don't get me wrong, I don't knock anyone who uh, supported it because they probably didn't know it was there. But that's why you don't see me there as much. And so I want to put out that because one thing I've learned in politics and in life is to tell the truth. If you tell the truth, shame the devil, push on. A um, couple things to think about. Um, as a party ourselves, we must make sure that we stay um, grounded in what we truly believe in, and what we truly believe in, not being sold out to interest groups. I think that's what hurt us, if I was to be honest with you all. I think that's what hurt the Democratic Party, because we got so many individuals, so many individuals, and instead of sticking together. At our county commission, I bring up the issue about homeless providing more uh, money for those who are, are in impoverished uh, areas. Nobody showed up at the meeting. We have a meeting to talk about the dog ordinance and stand in room only. I bring up the issue about, hey, can we uh, see about getting another community center? Something to get the kids somewhere to check in when they get out of school. Nobody show up. You bring up the issue, let's put some business out there in the rural part of Lowndes County. The whole place is full because they want to keep it nothing but woods out there. This is what I deal with daily, and I think you all should know this, because that's where the policy and the real changes take place. And I'm not going to belabor the point, but uh, I just want to also put it out there that, you know, there's one person in the audience I really want to thank, and that's Gretchen Porterman. Why? But the truth be told, she did every meeting, every meeting. The only one there, videotaping, knowing I'm there by myself on issues. Knowing, no matter what I say, what they done decided already is what's going to go. She be there videotaping. That's why when she was, you know, president of the party, I made it my business to make sure I was there because I was like, she breaks her back to be wherever I go. That was the Democratic Party to me. The Democratic Party showed up at the meeting where the policy change took place. They weren't on the phone or just Facebook and social media. They were in the action. That's what we got to get back to. We got to get back to where the policies and changes really take place. This ain't D.C. Sometimes I guess some people talk like we're in Washington, D.C., the Republicans against the Democrats. It ain't no game. This is real life. These are real people, issues that we deal with here locally. And sometimes I think we lose track of that. So if I could, I'd just like to encourage everybody to stand together on everything. All for one, right? Not just be a Democrat because of one issue. Just that's the only one reason you're a Democrat because of one thing. Outside of that, you're not a Democrat. I'm going to tell you the key to my success, I'm going to take my seat. And I told some candidates this. Um, three, four years ago. When I ran for office, I chose not to accept any donations. I did. I did a self-funded campaign. Why? I didn't want nobody thinking that they could make a phone call at 12 o'clock at night and talk to me about some 
that is so petty and so stupid or just biased and discriminatory in nature. I got a family. If I didn't have $500 to get into the race, I didn't need to run. If I was to be honest with you all, some of y'all know my family. We, we done drunk and that much alcohol in the night. <laughs> you ain't got $500, don't get in the race. Because the same people will be pulling your car next day. I'm just being honest with you. So when I'm up there making decisions, I'm doing what's right because it's the right thing. Not swaying to the left or the right, but because it's the right thing. That's what I encourage all the candidates to do. Despite what you see on TV, despite what you hear, be your own man and woman doing what is right by what is deep inside of you. May God bless Lyons County. May God bless United States of America. Thanks.